Managing cold environments. We need to manage cold environments so we can still benefit from the economic opportunities that these places create without creating too many environmental challenges. Cold environments are found at high latitudes and at the North and South Pole and they're characterised with a climate that's at or below zero degrees Celsius for much of the year. There's three ways that we can ensure that cold environments are conserved and managed sustainably. The use of technology, action by governments and the work of conservation groups. The first one, the use of technology. This is the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline that transports oil from Prudhoe Bay down to the port of Valdez. It's 800 miles long and it was opened in 1977. One technological uh, advancement for this pipeline was it was built on stilts so that the hot oil travelling through the pipe didn't melt the permafrost. Also, these stilts can withstand earthquakes, they are earthquake proof, so any tectonic movement wouldn't necessarily cause an oil spill. Caribou often migrate across Alaska, so the pipe was also built to allow caribou to pass underneath. The second example is action by governments. The example we can use is the Antarctica Treaty. Many countries had a claim to Antarctica, however the Antarctica Treaty made sure that the area could not be used for military use and there was freedom of scientific investigation. Conservation groups, the WWF, the World Wildlife Fund for Nature, uh, worked with local works with local communities such as the Inuit in North Alaska to ensure that their indigenous way of life can continue. They also work protecting species such as the polar bear. For example, they've introduced using fireworks to scare polar bears off rather than the traditional method of shooting them in the face. And narwhal is another example of a rare species that needs protecting and the WWF work with conservation groups around the world to protect them.